In today's video, you're gonna get the entire timeline of the software I've been creating. It's been over 212 days. I'm gonna show you the first version all the way up to our current version. On top of that, I'm gonna give you a very realistic timeline of how this process went when it came to authentication, first time users, paid users, everything above the board. Therefore, if you're interested in creating your own AI software, or just interested in the journey itself in this market, as this is a brand new market when it comes to artificial intelligence and integrating into software applications, this is gonna be the video for you. Let's jump in. Welcome back y'all. In today's video, let's go over the 212 days of this journey. I'm gonna show you an earlier version of our software and now the modern version of our software, tell you why we made our changes, made our differences, everything you need to know about this journey. For reference, this is actually one of the first versions of the software I created. I went ahead and created a Notions doc. We don't actually use Notions anymore, but I noticed I had this still, so it kind of made me realize like, oh, let's make a video on this because it's changed a lot since version 1.0. Last note here as well, as I've said in plenty of other videos, when you're creating a software, you start off super niche, micro niche, for our example, it's timestamps, but then you expand the value past that. So a year from now, this isn't just gonna be timestamps. This is gonna be a lot more. Let's go and begin this journey. This journey began in August of 2023 when I received a bunch of comments on my YouTube videos asking for timestamps. After doing market research and looking through the internet, I realized that there is no relevant software that currently does this at a really, really effective level. Yeah, there might be Google Chrome extensions and plugins, but none of them really automated the process from start to finish like we've done on our platform. On top of that, it was very clear to me that the current pain point was that no one on the market right now processes videos over like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. We process over three and a half hours and we're extending that. Up to this point, when it came to this industry, I was much more familiar with iOS development. I had developed apps since I was 12. That was kind of my shtick, a bread and butter. But what I realized in this context is in order to make a universal application, also not deal with the revenue loss that you would incur through Apple software development, which is a 30% take that they take from you, I went ahead and opted in for a web application. E.g., everyone in the world can use it. You just need an internet connection, type in the website, and we're gonna go. This went ahead and kicked off the development phase, which to be honest with y'all, we didn't get a stable branch until December of 2023. And once we launched, I believe if I recall correctly, I believe around September, that was launch day. And on the, literally on the first day on launch day, we made over $10,000. Nah, I'm just joking, we didn't make anything. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to y'all, we didn't make anything. But what we did make and what we did learn is a ton of education and a ton of education. So the first, and I have my notes here, the first 122 days, this software made a grand total from August to December. Give me a drum roll, please. Zero dollars. <laughs> so that's the reality though, y'all. That's real. And the thing I gained during those 122 days was the knowledge for understanding the authentication process. Side note as well, here's a playlist of from concept to software. I go over all of this in this playlist right here so you can check it out. But this goes over the authentication process when it comes to API at scale. This goes over understanding how to prompt engineer correctly for the APIs of OpenAI. Also understanding what backends to use, what front end to use, the development when it comes to a staging environment, a production environment, you know, everything. This was a different ball game than what I came from. I came from iOS development which was a very much a bubble environment where you kind of develop an app, you submit it, you get a review process, which could like take days or take weeks. That was a little frustrating. And then you would be placed on the app store. This is different though. This is very much like, no, 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 develop your application, get through the OAuth phase, get through like a bunch of implications and proceed. Therefore, if you want to take this journey, y'all get ready to pay down a debt of around 90 to 120 days or three to four months of just pure education and growing. So no, you're not gonna make $10,000 a month in two months, sorry. Wait, but this one YouTuber told me if I do this, this, this. I'm not that guy, I'm not that guy. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out the different versions. So this was basically up to this point. This is from December uh, from these images here. So we can kind of compare them. Now, early days, what you'll notice is right off the bat, it's kind of similar in the front end a little bit when it comes to the homepage couple of things that we opted not to have, which was a video. It didn't seem necessary in the context of the software that we have up to this point. On top of that, we opted to add a, I'm going to zoom in y'all. We opted to add a pricing option here as well, because we noticed that some users don't want to just sign up right away for the free 60 minutes. They want to actually get context of like, you know what, how much is this going to cost? So we added that as well. Furthermore, we kind of kept some UI here when it comes to like FAQ questions, right? And then on top of here, the footer's a little bit similar, but we went ahead and switched it around a little bit. 
So this is like the old homepage, kind of like meshed together, middle part, end part. New homepage, boom, right off the bat. Okay, instant like, oh, okay, timestamps. You can actually see within the UI of YouTube, it actually integrates flawlessly. So if you add your timestamps in your description, you're gonna get them right off the bat like that. Really, really cool. We kept, we opted to keep this UI, but we added like more strengthening highlights that we realized as we kept developing the software, which were pain points that became more apparently obvious, e.g. podcasters. Perfect example. Kept the FAQs real quick. Changed our footer a little bit here. Obviously, I'll go ahead and move myself. Obviously, now that this is being established, we're getting paid users and we're getting revenue here. We've established a whole separate entity, legal entity associated with this company, which is called Bump Ups and everything else above the board. On top of that, if you're building a software, a really good help center, I would suggest is Intercom. I'm not sponsored. Sponsor me in the future though, Intercom. What this does for you is it allows you to over time build articles that are associated with your software. This is really nice as you don't have to build out the entire user interface and the entire front end for this kind of UI. Really nice. There's a bunch of other stuff that Intercom does, but that's currently what we use now. Before we didn't have anything like this. There was no help articles. It was very much like get on the platform, see what happens. Now let's go ahead and see what it looked like as a logged in user and the changes we made here. So right off the bat, it used to be, you would just jump to the creator page. It actually wasn't even called the creator page back then. It was just the dashboard. Now we have given more context here. Welcome to the dashboard, right? You already can get help articles that are associated with intercom. On top of that, we set up a, an achievement system to gamify the platform a little bit or give you context of stuff you've done up to this point. Furthermore, we've added more navigational experience with the UI over here with the old version. We didn't have this kind of experience. It was just like you're thrown in, proceed. Very much, a, very, very much like an MVP, which basically it was. Now with this navigational experience, the user can actually jump to the different pages they care about. So the old creator page, when you were logged in, looked like this. The new creator page looks like this. Huge improvement, <laughs> huge improvement. So a couple of things here. First thing, obviously, personalize it, right? End of the day, you're going to be connecting your YouTube cha channel, which gives you access to more features within our platform. Therefore, provide the user's YouTube channel right off the bat. Then we get context of how many videos we've actually used and processed on this platform. Furthermore, we get access to UI elements that basically make it easier for us to change different features that we have access to, such as the auto comment feature. I can just boom, bop. Then on top of that, we went ahead and added our own custom UI when it comes to the calendar as the old UI was using a web kit by Google Chrome. But what we realized actually was we need to make our platform universal. So any software, or any browser can access it. And a big one, if you're familiar with this in web development is Safari. So Safari has extra security measures due to the fact that it's Apple, to be honest with y'all. <laughs> so what we realized is like, okay, well we need to go ahead and actually make it so that we look good on every single website, right? Or every single browser. Therefore, we created our own UI here when it comes to loading in videos. Furthermore, this actually looks really good on Safari and it works on Safari. So that's already a pretty big update when it comes to the creative page. But obviously in our initial software here, we didn't even have an unauth page. So what unauth, sorry, y'all, I'm speaking in dev terms. Uh, basically, you don't have to connect your YouTube channel. You can just do any link without connecting anything, which is huge. This had a hundred percent of correlation with increased subscribers. You can check out that video right there. I kind of go more in depth on that topic, but this is huge. Why this is huge, and this never existed before, was the fact that this gives the user the ability to see the value right off the bat. They have 60 minutes. Let me see if I like the platform. No barriers of entry. I'm logged in, proceed. This is big. Wasn't on the original software four months ago. Finally, we have stuff like the help center. Obviously, you can click off. We have the manage plan, so we can check out our plans. Furthermore, in the old software, we really didn't have a settings page. It was a settings page, but it looked like this. This was it. Brand template, get ready to go, change how your comments look. But now we have drastically changed this. We go to that same page here, and we've added a ton of different features here. So right off the bat, you get your email, you get your plan, you get your profile pic. You can even change your profile pic. I went over that in a video as well. We also now have the creator page. So you're connected to your YouTube. Do you have auto comments on or off? That was the UI element we saw on the creator page where you could turn it on and off from there as well. And then from the old software, which was basically, this was all the settings. This was, this was the settings. We can see that it is just found within the auto comment because that's all it's relevant to. And we can put in this relevant information, view our comment and proceed. Furthermore, this kind of settings UI is so easy to add additional value to since we have the baseline. What I mean by that is now we have a whole settings page de dedicated to timestamps. We're gonna add more relevant things you can do to timestamps. And as we add more value, we can just add it to the setting tabs 
as shown and proceed in that manner. This makes it super easy to one, add value from the front end, but also give the user like familiarity when we add more features, how to navigate the settings tab, which before was just this. Now this is the old software when it came to setting up a plan, pricing and everything associated with it. Now with our new software, we come up here, add more time, we've changed it. A couple of things we learned through the process. First thing we learned through the process is that we are gonna have multiple tiers when it comes to processing minutes, e.g essential compared to pro compared to premium, whatever we call it is gonna have different value points stacked on top of each other when you process a video. Knowing this, we realized that in order to acquire customers and basically establish a baseline, especially in the fact that you're gonna be processing a lot of minutes, we need to have a very low barrier of entry for our first plan so the user gets comfortable with our platform and is comfortable paying for services on our platform. Therefore, we kind of ripped up our previous pricing structure and how we're going about this. And we're starting with the absolute bare minimum to get access to value on our platform is only $199 and kind of just moving up the scale in that manner. Doing this kind of price structuring, we know that when we add more tiers and we add more value, the ability to upsell on subscriptions is gonna be like 10 times easier. Plus we just made it look better. It has our little bump ups logo. It has like, it just looks better. The U, I like the UI. We've kind of gone more with this darker UI, like this neon theme looks super cool. Therefore, all the changes and all the improvements you saw was from December to April. And that was around 90 days. And now I can say with full confidence that this product's gonna work. We're gonna 100%, this is gonna work. I can tell you that if we're gonna keep adding updates to this and adding value, this is 100% gonna be a successful software. Knowing this though, it took 122 days of me not getting paid a single dime and just purely educating myself on everything associated with building out a software. This wasn't, oh, I'm gonna give this person and that person and this person and that person do X, Y, no, 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 100%. Learn everything. And I've transitioned to adding a good friend of mine on the team. That's part of the new reason we created a new entity as we're sharing equity together in this new company. This has given us the ability to push out, restructure the backend, do a ton of stuff to optimize this platform. What I can tell you with 100% certainty from day zero to all the way to day 212, you won't see a single dollar until probably 180 days in. That's not meant to discourage you. That's not meant to tell you don't do this. That's meant to tell you when the value does start working and your platform does start producing subscribers, holy smokes, you just created a scalable product. If this got a thousand additional subscribers in one day, I don't have to worry. We got a thousand new paid subscribers. <laughs> That's the beauty of software, y'all. It's, it's a hard push in the beginning, but man, once this thing gets going, it gets going. And I can say that from experience, but I can also say that from running a product-based business. Some of y'all may not be familiar with that, but I used to do a whole separate business that was product-based. I did that for three years. What I learned through that, one of the biggest things with that was the issue with scaling. I would put in inventory purchases of around ten dollars to $20,000 to meet demand, but the problem was the demand would eat up the supply. Therefore, then we got more demand and I'll have to purchase more inventory. So it would be like a very bad cycle of having to reinvest money that we made from that inventory into new inventory, wait for three weeks on shipments. It was just a headache. With this though, we get 10,000 paid subscribers. Maybe our cloud bill goes up a little bit. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like. It's completely free. I'm gonna keep working at this to give also a little bit more context. Basically my structuring of my day when it came to developing this was I think like eight to 10 hours coding this and then the other hours were dedicated to this kind of content. So make sure you leave a like, it's completely free. I'm gonna leave a playlist at the end here called From Concept to Software. You can check it out yourself. I do a bunch of niche things. I go over other stuff like basically everything required to build out a software, which I may reference in the end video here. Without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. That's the playlist I was referring to when it comes to concept to software. You can watch out my entire journey. I think the first video is from September or August. Very beginning, y'all. That's a random video slash maybe not. Maybe the one that shows you all the tools to build out of software. And that's my face. I'll see you in the next video.